Okay, so now that you've designed your form, you are ready to collect data. So then I introduced earlier the Kobo Collect application. So this is how the home page of the application looks like. So you would click get blank form and then the list of forms available on your Kobo account would show up there. So you just select the one that you want to install on the mobile device you want to look, you want to use to collect data and then download it on the on the mobile device. When this is done, you can just click fill blank form when you're ready to collect the data and the form will show up. Yeah. Then once the form has shown up, you just swipe from right to left to start the survey. And the data will be sent to the server when Wi-Fi Wi connection is available. So typically when your enumerators come back to the office. Okay, now if you want to use Enquito instead of Kobo Collect, you would go onto the online Kobo platform and click um, open at the, at the bottom right of your form name. Charlotte, there is a question in the chat um, from Jesse, who is asking what happens if a question is modified or added to a questionnaire after the survey starts? So if a question is added after the survey starts, um, it's okay, that's fine to do. It will just not have any data for the previous surveys that were done but you should not um, modify an, an existing question. Um, because we said earlier, if you change the name or the type, then the data that was collected for that question previously, before you made the changes, will disappear. Diane, do you wanna add anything to this or? No, 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 thanks. So yeah, you can, you can add questions uh no problem just don't edit the question if you already have uh, data and we have another question from uh, nasiba who is asking in our case we provide data to our collectors so we can tick wi-fi and data right i'm not sure i understand the question uh what do you mean nasiba Sorry, uh, it was the previous uh, slide that Charlotte uh, sent. Uh, show, please. Um, yes, here data will be sent to server when Wi-Fi connection is available. So in our case, we in our we got some collectors that um, they use mobile data, so and not Wi-Fi. So there is an option oh. where we can both, right? Yes, they can use basically any internet connection would send the data over if you want to. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, I'll resume from, from this. So if you want to collect data with Enquito this time, you go on your online Kobo Toolbox platform, you click on your project. So here, Sharks and Rays, 12 March, and you click open. And this will open the form on your web, in your web browser, which means it will have a URL address. And this works in Kobo as unique identifiers. So two forms will never ever have the same URL address, which is very useful. So what you would do is you would copy and paste this URL into the web browser on the mobile device that you're going to be using for data collection in the field. So when you do this, it will load and you will just have to wait to see this orange square come up. And once it, it's there, you can save the form to the homepage of the tablet and it will then be ready to be used offline.
And so when you open it, you will just have to swipe down to fill the rest of the form, like a classic web page, really. Okay, some tips about using tablets and smartphones in the field. Um, you will find it useful to save the battery by switching off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and other battery-consuming apps. Um, a good thing is to do is to train enumerators in basic equipment care rules, um, so they know how to handle handle the, the equipment and take care of it. Uh, it's good practice in general to send data to the server as often as possible. So if you have a survey that is lasting a long time and data collectors are coming back to the office regularly, it's good for them to send their data whenever they come back to the office. It's just safer. And in general, also try to put a password on the device and keep it safe because obviously if it's stolen, your data is stolen too. Okay, that's it for this part. Any question? <laughs>